Hey y'all, Nikki Brown here. No matter where you are and what part of the world you are in, I hope that you are having a good day. Wow, I really have a tan. Anyway, never have I ever, right? Let's play that. Let's play that game. Never have I ever been to someone's house without first asking them if they want something or at least having enough for everybody. Unless they said, oh, don't worry about it my kids ate already or whatever the case may be if anything if we had to pool our money together and you know make sure that we went to the grocery store so that all the kids ate then that's what we would do um usually most of my friends though their kids were all right and they were taken care of and like you know But still, like, say if I had a friend who drank coffee and I was going to have myself a cup of coffee, I would not walk into my friend's house with a cup of coffee, knowing that my friend drinks coffee without a cup of coffee for my friend. I wouldn't do that, right? So whether it's an adult or a child, again, even if I had to go to the grocery store, I would call said friend, do you need anything? Do you want anything? And if I didn't have enough, I would stay home. If my friend came to my house, I would offer. And I, if I did not have enough to offer, I would wait until my friend left. Right, but I don't understand how in your mind you can think that it's okay to feed one child. Again, I wouldn't do that to an adult. I've been to plenty of people's houses where I stopped at the grocery store. What are we going to eat? Because we, you know, maybe didn't have it in the budget to get fast food, but we could go to the grocery store And maybe even, you know, if that person had kids, we fried some fish, maybe had some spaghetti with it, and it was enough for everybody. And I grew up, my cousins, my aunt and uncle, my great aunt and uncle had 13 kids, right? My aunt always made sure that there was enough for everybody. So I grew up you know, in an environment where you made sure that there was enough for everybody, right? If anything, that burger would have got cut in four ways and those shares would have been fried. Those fries would have been shared along with the drink. But there's no way I would have let my one kid sit there and eat McDonald's in front of my other kids. There's no way in the world. Again, I wouldn't do that to an adult. Never mind a kid. I have never been... Unless, again, the person said, oh, I'm good. I ate already. My kid's good. Whatever. We good. Right? Then I'm like, I'm hungry. I'm going to stop and get me something to eat. And still, I might eat it in the car on the way there because I still would not feel comfortable eating in front of somebody. Right? And by the time I went in the house, I'd probably just leave it in the car or again, make sure I at least offer, even if I didn't want to offer, (laughs) even if I didn't want to share. There have been times where I've asked somebody, oh, you want some? And they said yes. And I'd be like, damn, I might have even said that to that person. (laughs) I was hoping you said no. And we'll just laugh about it. But I'm not going to not share. I don't care if I don't want to share. I'm not going to not share. I'm at least going to ask. And then if if I'm sharing with that person and that person has a kid, their kid might come up and they still may share with that kid. This is a human thing. This is not about, oh, those aren't my kids. That's not my responsibility. That's not the answer. (laughs) That's not the answer. I think that that's very selfish because you shouldn't eat. You as an adult should not eat in front of another human being without at least offering them some. Never mind a child. So either you should not have brought anything at all, right? 
Or as, oh, is it okay if I come and pick up my child and we go spend the day together, hang out, whatever the case may be. Or he could have stopped at the grocery store and bought some spaghetti, a ground pack of ground beef and some noodles and let her make them some spaghetti. Or he should have bought all the kids in McDonald's, all four of them. You knew, I don't know how many kids she had before they got together. I don't know if she was already married. I don't know what the circumstances are. I really don't care. That's none of my business, right? But, and those kids know they're not his responsibility. But again, this is another human being and it's a child. These are children right and if you ever had that happen to you as a child think back to how you felt right no matter what the circumstance was whether it was the ice cream truck the ice cream man somebody else's parent have you ever had somebody eat something in front of you and not offer you any as a child a piece of candy a piece of fruit I don't care what it was I think that that's just immoral. And I think that you should feel bad. Because I think that that's being done out of spite. Honestly. When you just say, oh, I'm just worried about my kid. I'm just going to feed my kid. I think that that's very selfish. Because again, I wouldn't even do that to an adult. I wasn't raised that way. It's either enough for everybody or, again, you say, oh, I came to pick up my kid and hang out with my kid today for a couple hours. It's still not right. I still don't like it. But that would be better than you bring a McDonald's for one child. And... While your child sits there eating. No, my child not going to no other room to eat no McDonald's by themselves. That That's not going to happen either. Again, if anything, I would have took the food. I would have cut that burger four ways. They would have split those fries. And they would have had a little bit of the drink. And everybody would have got a little bit of, you know. And now, for as for myself, I just wouldn't have eaten anything. Or well, I would have found something else. But that McDonald's ain't no way. <laughs> Unless it was a double cheeseburger meal, then maybe they could have both all got half and just a few fries. But there's no way in the world. Again, this is a human thing. Where's the humanity? Where is the compassion? Again, I don't know how many kids that woman had before you had your kid with her. But you already knew she had children. How could you do that to a child and not have any type of compassion or remorse? I don't understand. I, that, that's just what I don't understand. Again, if anything, you call her up, right? This is out of respect call her and say either can I come get my kid or oh I want to make sure so and so got something to eat um I was just going to stop and get him from some McDonald's and she could have then said I would rather you go to the grocery store and get a pack of ground beef and some noodle and I don't know if she would have said I got so and so amount to go with it I don't know if she would have said that you know that's probably what I would have said and the guy probably would have said, don't worry about it. I mean, sometimes that's how that goes and sometimes it's not. But I would think that that would be how it went. Okay, instead of me going to McDonald's, I'll run to the grocery store, get a pack of ground beef, a jar of sauce, and some noodles so y'all can have spaghetti tonight. You would still be making sure your kid eat, ate, right? And you will be buying them an inexpensive meal that she can cook and everybody can eat off of. No, she's not your responsibility. But again, this is not about who responsible for who. I think that that's so selfish. It's a human being that deserves to eat. 
I have never, mm -mm. I have never, I've had plenty of people feed me and my child. And again, if it came down to it, I just wouldn't eat. But ain't no way. I remember one of my exes gave me money for Mother's Day and told me to buy myself something and I bought my son something and he got mad because I bought my son clothes. Ain't no ain't no way. That's my kid. You bucking. I don't care about no Mother's Day. My kid needed stuff. So I bought stuff for my kid. But at the same time, I do understand that women should take out time for themselves to do something for themselves, right? But at the same time, I cannot in good faith. <laughs> if my kid needs something, I can't just ignore that fact and just go. I couldn't do that at that point, right? So I don't know. It's something to think about. <laughs>